It's time to learn about the derivative as a function. Once again, let's remember the definition of the derivative of a function f at a point a. For example, f prime of 3 is the instantaneous rate of change of f at 3. Our next step is to collect all of these values of f prime into a new function, called simply the derivative of f. In the limit definition, we're just replacing a with x. In other words, f prime of x is the function whose values are the slopes of the tangent lines of f at the corresponding values of x. Let's look at an example. Here we have the graph of a function. As we move along the graph from the left to the right, the function is increasing until we reach this point, where the tangent line is horizontal, and then the function is decreasing. Now let's add the graph of the derivative. We see that it's positive where f is increasing, zero at the peak, and negative where f is decreasing. Let's now compute a derivative. Suppose that f of x equals 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. Then by definition, the derivative is this limit. We replace f of x plus h and f of x using the formula for f and simplify. When we take the limit, we get 6x minus 7. In the car example we saw in an earlier video, the independent variable was t. But often we use x as the independent variable. This leads to some notational issues. Let y equal f of x. A very common notation for the derivative of f is y prime. But if we set y equal to 3ax, then what's y prime? If we differentiate with respect to x, we get y prime equals 3a. But if we differentiate with respect to a, we get y prime equals 3x. In other words, the y prime notation is vague. It doesn't tell us with respect to which variable we're supposed to differentiate. By convention, x is a variable and a isn't, so y prime equals 3a unless context tells you otherwise. But we should have notation that doesn't require context like this to make sense. So we have a better notation. For y equals f of x, all three of these notations denote the derivative of this function with respect to x. These are read as dy by dx, and so forth. Here, there's no ambiguity. For example, going back to y equals 3ax, dy by dx is 3a, and dy by da is 3x. Let's look at another example. Suppose f of x is x cubed plus t squared then this expression is ambiguous because we don't know whether to differentiate with respect to x or t. This example is even worse than the previous one since both x and t are conventionally considered variables. But this expression is unambiguous because the dx tells us to differentiate with respect to x. And this expression is also unambiguous as long as f of x equals x cubed plus t squared since the x in f of x tells us that f is a function of x, not of t. So f prime is determined by differentiating with respect to x.